Noi shalom ras tefari ne ras yadinos tefari ne. This is Wendem Yadon reporting for the Lion of Judah Society of His Imperial Majesty Moa Anbesa Machiver. Um, and we're broadcasting on the YouTube. You can check us out at www.lojsociety.org. And we're also broadcasting on uh, um, Ethiopian World Net. Um, in case of emergency, Ethiopian World Net 911. And for the sabbatical um, study, the Amharic uh, Torah of the Black Messiah, of our Black Lord and Savior Adonai, Yeshua HaMoshiach, Getachina, Med Hanatachin Jesus Christos. You can find us on the YouTubes currently at um, Rastafari Sabbatico. Rastafari and Sabbatico on the YouTubes. Now, um, this is part of an ongoing investigation that we have um, been upon. Let's see if we can bring up some of the pages right here. Um, and uh was watching a vid, right? He was watching a particular vid. This is some of the um the key words that we used in this was no obelisk salasi time. No obelisk salasi time. Right? And uh let's see if we can bring that uh Bring that image up where His Imperial Majesty Kadamawi Haile Selassie is having a meeting with um, JFK. Here's JFK right here, and this is um, I and I, Godfather and King of Kings. Now, oh, this is the next video about Satanic Vatican, full length video. It's about four hours, I think 44 minutes. I know, a rather long video. You got to watch it in parts and um, we haven't watched fully the whole video, and we was going over the vid again, and we came across the scene about the imposter pope. Now, at Ethiopian World uh, Net, we got a couple of vids up there at Ethiopian World Net. Now, here's here's our godfather. Here's Kadamawi Haile Selassie with uh, JFK. Now. We had pointed out the whole connection, you know, at least the suppressed aspect, the suppressed um, um, historical data as well as the prophetical data concerning the visit of Kedamawi Haile Selassie, the conquering line of the tribe of Judah, the elect of God, the king of kings of Ethiopia, with America's first um, Catholic I don't know if he was a Knight of Malta, uh, JFK, Catholic president, who who made many pronouncements about this whole secret society and based on um, Vatican assassins and based on various other um, researches, uh, evidence to evidence and the data that they have um, brought together. It's more than just circumstantial evidence just from the da their data and their evidence that proves that um, JFK was assassinated and points in a couple of directions as to um, who's behind something, the Freemasons, some say um, the so-called Illuminati, others say, well, behind all of them is um, the Vatican assassins, right? The Vatican assassins, because you started to speak about you know, the secret societies uh, um, exposed them, JFK, as well as um, um, renounce, almost he turned his back on them. That's what we said at JFK in an earlier vid. In one of our earlier vids, we had um, likened JFK to, let's see if we can bring up Ethiopian, um, Ethiopian World Net right here on the, Okay, here's Ethiopian World Net. Let's see if we can bring this up. Ethiopian World Net. Now, this is our current broadcast channel, and hopefully it's, you know, hopefully it's still up there, you know, but we know that, you know, we're under fight, you know, um, for free speech and for exposing 
as the word says, not to, not to, not to make any uh, fellowship, right? Not to have fellowship, you know, in Ephesians, not to have fellowship. That means they're not our brothers, you know, they're illegitimate children. These and those who call themselves Christians, counterfeit Christians, and fight against the Christ man, and fight, a, and, and, do, and they're not, you know they're they're not our father's children. That's I mean that's that should be five and eleven of Ephesians. It says um, and have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness, but rather reprove them. So this is what the Ilnet or the Ethiopian world net and this ministry of His Imperial Majesty is all about about reproving these works of um, darkness, right? And this is our latest vid for Haz and Nu, Listen Rastafari Sabbath, um, the latest vid up there, that's part one, and um, ja Exodus Passover, um, Joshua, the crossroads at the crossroads, um, Rastafari exposes the Antichrist, 1492, the Caesar Borgias, uh, Borgia, and that there's a whole connection, of course, with the Vatican right there. We're speaking about this particular vid right there. Then the good news of His Imperial Majesty. Um, subscribe, reminding us to subscribe to Ethiopian World Net um, 911. Here we're talking about the Illuminati monetary fraud, the IMF, or the International Mother. Watch your mouth. You know what I mean? Um, the IMF. Illuminati Monetary Fraud, this three-part series right here, one, two, three, speaking on the Black Beta Israel captivity 400 years. We look at it in different historical, lining up the historical and the prophetical um, timeline. So we have uh, 1619, then we have 2019. So we ask the question, 2012 or 2020? Uh, they say 2020 is um, good vision. Them hard Bible study here as well. We get them all with Hala Selassie from the IOTA program. Now, um, let's just put in here, if we can, uh, Vatican, right? Or should we say Pope? Which one should we say? Pope? Um, Pope? Let's see. If we, if we say Pope, how many videos are going to show up about the Pope? Um, Let's see, we have search for the Pope, which Pope videos right here. We can see a couple of the vids. Okay, this one here, Mystery of Iniquity, part one. Well, actually, part one, two, and three. Our Mystery of Iniquity series right here. This is one, two, and three right there, as well as this one. This one right there, um, the Dendera. Revelation, or Dendera, um, let's get the name, that was about five months ago, um, 17 Revelation, chapter 17, verses 10 to 11, papacy, the papacy and the seven kings, papacy, seven kings, the eighth um, beast prophecy. So we've been speaking on this particular um, issue here that we want to get into a little more, a little more in detail on. Let's Let's try what we were going to try before. Let's put uh, Vatican, Vatican in the search right here. Vatican, Vatican, right? All right. Okay, so this is just kind of an intro, an intro right here. Okay, it's a little tighter here. His Majesty rejected the Illuminati, the man child um, versus the beast. Okay. Um, now, His Imperial Majesty had visited, um, and visited the the Vatican. Well, not the Vatican, but actually Rome. Talking about Rome. Let's see if we can. Uh, uh, let's see what's the name? Papal, papal. Because there's different keywords, you know, papal. And, and as you look up these different words, even in your, in your personal study searches, it will lead you to different, I guess, on the Internet, different conclusions, right? And so we're going through some of the searches right here. Um, 
Yeah. Okay, um... Alright. Let's see, this one, um... There was one on, that we did right before... See, the Wall Street, uh... Uh, what was it called? Deadly Wound. Let's go to Deadly Wound. Deadly Wound. Alright, so some of the more... Um... Um, forward thinking, okay, deadly wound, okay, and this is another one on the deadly wound, because another one on, that we had done on, uh, I think it was a laddering treaty, I don't know, laddering treaty, you remember that one, the laddering treaty, it might be on one of the other channels, let's look up laddering right here, the laddering treaty, that one is not, that one is not here. Interesting. Maybe it even got blocked and we didn't even recognize it. Ladder and Treaty. Uh, uh, let's see about Mussolini. Uh, Mussolini. I know he must have been in the tag on the name somewhere. Mussolini. Okay, that's some of the more recent ones. Some of the older ones right there. Okay, the Deadly Moon. Yeah, it's one that we did on the deadly wound. It was right before the Wall Street, um, what happened before Obama became uh, President Wall Street. Okay, Wall Street. Let's, let's look on Wall Street, see if it shows up. Okay. The Beast Out of the Sea. Okay, here's some of them. Beast Out of the Sea. Um... But we don't see it up here. It must either be on another channel or it might have been, maybe it's been blocked. Or sometimes they'll take down the videos uh, surreptitiously. You know, sometimes they'll let you know, they'll make a point out of it. Sometimes it'll be done kind of secretly when you turn around. Some folks might, might give you a heads up and say, what happened to that vid that you did on such and such? I don't I don't, I, I, I don't see it. I don't see it up here. All right. Once again, let's go to the mystery of iniquity. Mystery of iniquity. This mystery of iniquity. Iniquity. All right. Mystery of iniquity. And then we we'll try to search for that deadly, the deadly wound, um, the deadly wound, beast, deadly wound, or something like that. Heal. Now, there's these three. There's these three in this particular series right here, as you can see. And this is what directly connects with what we're about to speak on a little bit more. Mystery of Iniquity. Um, the fuller name is, uh, let's see, wait for it, wait for it. Fuller name, okay, there was, there was. Mystery of Iniquity and Apostle Pope Paul the Sixth. And the day of the Lord, 1970, visit of Hala Selassie, right? And now that connects, this is, this is where we kind of connect this with what, where we want to go with this particular thing. We haven't, you know, scripted this all out. Actually, we began to see a couple of um, evidences connecting with the bigger picture. So we said we'll just get into, uh, get into a recording, a broadcast. So we know some of the things we want to um, share with you and... No doubt we'll come across other things together in this particular um, uh, study and this investigation. And then there's this video right here, the Kabbalistic ritual murder of the King of Kings of Ethiopia? Question. Haile Selassie I versus the Illuminati Derg. Right? Haile Selassie I versus the Illuminati Derg. I mean, the fact that that video, that other video didn't show up, Kind of, it just has me kind of curious right here. Let me just go here. Deadly, right? Wound, right? Let me go Lateran, right? And let's see if we put, um, let's put Selassie there so we can narrow the search. Cause we know there's, there it goes right there. You see that bit? You see that bit right there? This video right here. Uh, prophecy fulfilled, deadly wound healed, Vatican's Lateran Treaty, 1929, then in parentheses, Italian invasion. 
All right, Italian invasion right there. That's on Rastafari Nights. It's only a ten minute clip, but that kind of goes with the with the mystery of iniquity and perhaps in a in a in a bigger compilation can be compiled. So those who are about this, you know, can um catch up with it. Now there's also this video which is a clip, um, his Imperial Majesty and the Pope, right? Um of all the names, give thanks to all the names right there, and also uh, I think um, Al Gaza uh, Eight also put it up, and the then that our revelation, right? Um, then we have uh, this is a video that we seen a little while ago, um, characteristics of Antichrist Part Seven, deadly wound in is healing right there this one this is this is a newspaper clip right there where it says uh, Mussolini and Gas Gaspari signed historic Roman pact and that was in 1929 so now we have to look at the historical data to recognize what is the significance of princes shall come out of Egypt Ethiopia shall soon stretch forth our hands to God or Psalm 68 verse 31 so these are a couple of these vids right here and then it kind of goes off into on the Rastafarians there's a couple there's Jerry H.I.M. give thanks Jerry H.I.M. who also has some of these same vids one is also Hala Selassie the first is Matrix JFK assassination revisited um, there was an older version then we had the new version then um, there's some other related videos. Ha um, Habla, Haile Selassie first. Um, um, I think subtitles. Um, Salva Titulos in Espanol. Uh, Espanol. Uh, there as well on the Rastafarians. Right. This, these two right here. Someone's playlist. Give thanks for that. Now this is very important. Cause this is what opens up this whole prophetic view right here that we're looking at and provides additional information that we um in spirit we know these things are going on but if we if we don't as it says right here it says and have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness but rather it says reprove right reprove them reprove them means to expose them ephesians 5:11 this is the this is the work, this is the labor. Because every true Christian, right, or Christian, um, who have faith in Adonai Yeshua Hamushia in in, in in our black Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, is either about the propagation of the good news, is either like an uh Wengel is either like a missionary, is either out there overtly or covertly, you understand, expressing Yeshua, expressing Yah's way, walking Yah's way and testifying um, to that or they're an imposter. You, you know what I mean? There's no like sitting in the back pew just 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 going along to, to be along. You're deceiving yourself. In other words, when the Bible talks about um, um, just don't be a hearer of the word. Many of them hear, and they say, yes, uh, I'm such and such, but they're not doing his will. You know, so we have to recognize that this is now is the time. Right? So we got the top videos, not the top videos, but up here, according to this search. So some of you all who are grabbing these vids and following up on these things can also use this part of this, this lecture right here, this study right here. Um, I'm pointing out certain things that, grab get put together right um prophecy fulfilled deadly wound healed vatican's ladder and tree 1929 all right that was about three years ago we posted that one up there then there is um then there is uh um which one or the, or the clip this is a clip of of a video from the 1970s, where his imperial majesty visited the Pope, or visited um, visited Rome, and visited the Pope. We thought everyone thinks it was at the Vatican, but it wasn't really at the Vatican. Now, let's. Um, with that being said, let's back this up right here, right? Let's back this up right here. 
before we go on in that clip about the imposter pope. Because we was asking ourselves the question, did Abba, did Father meet with the imposter pope? You understand? And so what is the bigger picture of this? Right? What is the bigger picture? Now, as we mentioned with Kennedy, about, what was it, two weeks or so? He had, Kennedy had said something. You remember what, what we saw in some documentary and they said that Kennedy had said something publicly. And two weeks later, he was like, you know, I guess 14 days, he was he was assassinated. And uh, most people believe it either was CIA or FBI or another. But, oh, but the notes. Okay, yes, the standard. Thank you. The money standard. You know, the, in other words, is it gold? Is it backed by silver or gold? And he was going to restore, right? He was going to restore the currency value out of the so-called Federal Reserve, out of the so-called secret society, so forth and so on, out of the, really out of Mystery Babylon, the Pope, right? He was going to restore that, not from its fiat money, right, to being backed by silver and gold, he's going to reissue notes. And um, two weeks later, he was assassinated. Two weeks later, he was dead. He was murdered. He was killed. Now, what's very interesting is that this visit that you see here of Nagus and the guest of, of Edomawi Haile Selassie, this visit that you see right here, and his majesty has a particular expression on his face. You know, and, and and the expression tells you a whole lot right there. I remember one brother said that how his imperial majesty had warned Kennedy, you understand, about what he was doing. In other words, the overview or the paraphrase is that recognize that Kennedy, he truly had, had a good inclination. He had an inclination to do good, but he was, because of the family relations and everything else, he was in bed with a lot of a lot, a lot of strange sort of bedfellows, and his imperial majesty basically warned him that he should really, um, you know, really decide, almost like what Moses does with the Israelites, like choose you this day. And also, probably there were there were other conversations, no doubt about it, because we see that 50 days, roughly, we counted about 50 days, right? after his imperial majesty's visit to the United States and visit with the then sitting president, um, John uh, Fitzgerald, Fitzgerald Kennedy, JFK, that JFK would be assassinated. He would be shot. Now, you might see some of the historical pictures in some of the other videos, um, like the you know, the Hala Selassie, JFK Matrix, those sort of videos right there, which is kind of a trailer for, you know, as, we, as we've come across certain historical truth and data and prophetic data, historical data, and seeking to put it together, we keep finding more. You know, as we put out a little bit, others come to us and say, hey, did you hear about this or that? And they think it's not that significant. But then it's very significant because, the, the 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 little bit that they might have or that you might have, putting that out, another brother or sister or others out there, they got to a certain point, but they are unable to connect that particular dot. So as it comes together, it becomes bigger and bigger. You know what I'm saying? So more and more of the suppressed and repressed and depressed um, secrets are coming out. You understand? And... And, and more and more is being revealed. This is why we originally started to say we we're just going to record this right here and, and do a little something on it. There's a few things we want to show you, but there's probably other things that are going to um, um, be revealed. Now, this particular word here in Ephesians chapter 5, verse, verse um, 11, once again, it says, And have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness, of the so-called Illuminati, right, or the disilluminati, right, or the aluminum people, right, but rather reprove them, in other words, but rather expose them. So we have no doubt about the fact that um, his imperial majesty's um, um, work, his words, his, his life example um, had a significant impression on JFK, right, that we see in this last less than like two months, you understand all these um, 
um, almost like a change of heart, almost like Kennedy was going about repenting. Right, he was going about a repentance, and if you look at another another vid, you know, under that whole deadly wound, uh, let, let's see if we can just get back over here to the deadly wound search page over here. Now, deadly wound has to do with with the Vatican, nineteen twenty nine, right? So, um, the key words there is deadly wound, Lateran, and Selassie. Um But if you look up um, Antipas. Right, anti P A S, anti Pas and J F K, and put Selassie, usual spelling, the one L spelling, right? And if you look that up, let's see, is this is this going about? Okay, that, um, this is going about looking that up. We'll see what we will find. There's a there's a video out there where his Imperial Majesty meets with uh, J F K. At the railway um, station, in fact, um, uh, Asif uh, Deferi seated the book that I've pointed out in a couple of other videos, Betrayal of Ethiopia, you understand, which has His Majesty meet with Eisenhower, who also has a wonderful testimony um, to His Imperial Majesty you know, concerning His Majesty teaching things that he should have known already. And then we see a picture of him meeting with... Um, there we go right there, some of these vids right here. So we have, it's called um, Ike, JFK, and Hala Selassie first, or I, Roman numeral I, Matrix intro. That was a, kind of a trailer because we had, you know, we thought we, you know, we thought we discovered it. We, 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 we had everything right there. Little to know that that was only really, 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 that was like an introduction of the introduction. That was like the introduction, introduction. You understand? It's almost like the rabbit hole thing. You understand? Not really knowing so-called how deep um, the rabbit hole goes. And um, remember there was a martyr, right? There was a martyr that was called Antipas, right? Antipas is a martyr that's mentioned in the scriptures. Um, and a lot of people have been trying to figure out, well, who is this um Antipas that's mentioned in Revelation chapter 2 at verse uh, 13. I know thy works and where thou dwellest, even where Satan's seat is. Now, Satan's seat, you can do a search on that. Go on the Google, and there's probably some videos out, out there. We know that the 700 Club did a whole thing on, um, on Satan's seat. Right on Satan's seat. I mean, it's this this whole kind of kind of uh, Greco-Romanesque sort of archi uh, uh, architecture, and was actually transferred from one place from the ancient world, and now it's out in Germany. And so some are seeing that link with Germany. I'm talking about not Nazi Germany. Well, Nazi Germany began making that connection with the Satan seat right here. So it's kind of really interesting when you recognize that. JFK, his father actually supported the Nazis, and his father, JFK's father, actually was, um, I think, a Knight of Malta. So when you start to look at this Antipas, right, this Antipas um, revelation here, and you start to make this sort of connection, let's see, here's, here's the vid here, too. You understand? Here's the vid here, um Okay, that seems to be uh, Timothy Wolf uh, the third has a video that I probably have seen, but really needs to be seen again. But it seems like it's probably been a while, uh, and might be a fuller vid. Hala Selassie, JFK, and USA too, right? So these are some vids right here in this series. Um, some of them are varying, of varying um, um, length, um, lengths right there. This one here on, on the, the Melchizedek site right here seems to have almost, what, 83,000 hits on it. Um, Hala Selassie versus Matrix, um, JFK assassination revisited. This is when we um, really went over it again, adding a little bit more annotation and prophetic, um, prophetic data. Now we have Hala Selassie the first rejects Illuminati. Because a lot of this, this disinformation, you know, it's COINTELPRO, stopping the rise of the black messiah. 
So they put out disinformation to make you think, oh, his majesty was down with them, rah, rah, rah. We're going to explain to you something from the shepherd of Hermes. This is why now they're also trying to flip-flop on the shepherd of Hermes, which was one of the apocryphal books here in this particular volume, this document. We can show you this right here. Let's see if we can show you this. Okay, this is this this is the cover right here. Um, the lost books of the Bible and the forgotten books of Eden or Eden. Right, this particular book right here. This is the book. You know, it's kind of worn out. Right, so this this is a pretty good um English English copy right here, as you can see. Right, let's let's bring this around a little straighter. All right, okay. So there's Shepherd of Hermes in there, right? And the Shepherd of Hermes quote that we like to um, um, put into evidence, right? Um, we find that that explains that black and white vid from um, what was the name? Um, Rai, the Italian, the Italian band, um, the Italian um, news, uh, TV news that. Um, recorded the meeting of his imperial majesty and a pope. We don't know whether it's the imposter pope or the unimposter pope. We think it's the unimposter pope now that we have a, you know, we're, we're checking the dates and time, so forth and so on. Now, here there's the archival footage, only 56 seconds down here, right? Um, well, here's I and I speaking about um, some, you know, E.T., some et, alpha, Alpha Tav of Stargates, but anyway, you know, let's move forward. Our archive right here, H I M Haile Selassie on the on the funeral of JFK. This is at JFK. Then there's a next video down here um, from Rasta Selassie. Rasta Selassie, a wise man, John F Kennedy and Haile Selassie, L O J Society, Rasta Fry, step up. Um, a quick review of our past and the influence that Haile Selassie has had, right? Um, it's interesting what JFK says. I think this one here, this vid here, might have subtitles. So really all of these videos here in this set, you really should try to comp and, and get all these videos just for, as an archival um, and also the connection that this has with the U.S. being attacked and 9-11, which is Ethiopia's New Year. I mean, come on. 9-11, September 11th being Ethiopia New Year, and one's all these so-called truths, all the people in the so-called the so -called truth community not putting this together, and JFK, JFK's testimony on, on the, the secret society, exposing the secret societies and becoming like an antipus. Right, Antipas. Do you know what Antipas means? Pas means like your patriarchy, your country. You know, if you look in Spanish, so forth and so on. So one is Antipas means that they even would reject their own country for what is truth and right. If their own country was bad, it's like his Majesty says that not having allegiance um, to, to nations but to our fellows, fellowship, our brothers and sisters, our Christian brothers and sisters um, in the, the human family or the so-called world community. That's what it's really, really all about. So this meeting that we have right here is very, very significant. And I mean, before we can even get into um, the whole um, Pope and Pastor Pope, greatest secret we had when we saw this picture here, you understand, and his Imperial Majesty's um, the, the, the expression, right, the expression on um, his Imperial Majesty's uh, face at this particular point and putting all the information together. And once again, looking at what we have here in Ephesians 5.11 and what we have in Revelation um, chapter 2, verse 13. I know thy works, right, I know thy works. Now, it's interesting, here in the Schofield Study Bible, this is the message to the church at Pergamos, Pergamos. Now, if you do any study on Pergamos, like we have to, you know, um, give, you know, give these ones that do, the 700 Club did do an interesting presentation on, on um, Satan's seat, 
So, so look that up. I think it's on the internet. Satan seat. This will connect right here. The message to Pergamos, the church under imperial favor that was settled in the world in A.D. 316 to the end. This is one interpretation of what these seven churches are. Now, some say, is it that? Does it mean that? I think it, we have to understand that who is revealing this? It's the Father Abba that revealed this, our black Lord and Savior, to Yeshua HaMoshiach, to be revealed, sent by his angel to his servant John. And John now is giving this to the, that, those Christians then, you know, saying, or those who are in Moshiach then, and to us in Moshiach now, but it says that this is from he who is, was, and will be. So we have to be able to interpret um, Revelation both in the sense of what was the application of it in its time, right, the spirit of it, right, as well as the application now, as well as any future application of it. You know, and this is where a lot of um, Bible scholars and translators, this is where, you know, it's where a lot of them kind of get it wrong, is that they just look at it just maybe in one way. They look at it just like now. Forget about when the past. They, they, you know, they just skip over thousands of years and, 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 and millions of martyrs and others and, and just say it, it had no application until now. Or some just throw in the past and say it only had application, it's done with. That's why this book, Revelation, reveals the truth. Ye Johannes Rai, Raiyo Le Johannes, or the, or the vision, a proper translation from the good is in the royal Amharic, the show in Amharic would be the vision, the Rai, the vision of Johannes, Yohana, Yohana, Yahweh, Hana, of Yah's grace, he who be who he be. His divine majesty's grace. So it begins from verse 12, the message to Pergamos, which we see as connecting with his majesty's message to um, John F. Kennedy. And to the angel, the Melach of the church in Pergamos, write, These things saith he which hath the sharp sword with two edges. I know thy works and where thou dwellest, even where Satan's seat is. Now, some look at this and say, well, look at the Pentagon or look at the office of the president in a sense. You know, some say, oh, well, Reagan was 666. So, no, it was actually um, Bush first, the first Bush, 666. The others say it was Kennedy who was 666. And then that Kennedy, um, who was the one that's like Kennedy? The, the Clinton, the first so-called black president. Who is 666? I would say, no, it was, it was Baby Bush is 666. Now they say, um, 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 Obama is 666, is, is Antichrist. Stay tuned. We're going we're gonna to reveal exactly what both in the scripture sense, the chi sti stigma. See, people get confused when they, when, when they um, interpolate it only as 666 and forget chi sti stigma. You understand? And the whole subliminal suggestion um, that's going on. In fact, I mean, stay tuned for that. That's very interesting right there. But let's get through this right here. So where Satan's seat is. So in a sense, we can look at this most powerful office in the land, the office of the United States president, in a symbolic sense, if it's not in righteousness, that there becometh the seat of Satan. So we have the historical one that they took out of Asia Minor and they put in Germany. They have in Germany, right? And um, I forget the other, they have another name for it and everything right now. Um, but then we can also now look at it, the revelation in, for our present time and then the applications we see right here. So his majesty warns him, and, and the word says, I know thy works and where thou dwellest, even where Satan's seat is. And thou holdest fast my name, and hast not denied my faith, the true faith of Yeshua HaMoshiach, and hast not denied my faith even in those days wherein Antipas was my faithful martyr, who was slain among you, where Satan dwelleth. This is interesting because we look at the time period, we also get the church of Satan. 
And we also get, you know, the Church of Satan in 1960, uh, in 1966. You know what I mean? A, a church, just like any other so-called um, church having the same rights. It says, but I have a few things against thee. This is what our intelligence reports told us of the meeting with His Majesty, that His Majesty, um, you know, loved Kennedy, you understand, but also had to reprove him, right? Because thou hast there them that hold the doctrine, the teaching of Balaam, of, of Balaam, right, of Balaam, who taught Balak or Balak, right, to cast a stumbling block before the children of Israel. Now, who are the prophetic children of Israel? Not the OJs or the other Jews who call themselves Jews, although the faithful ones who are Torah Jews in spirit and in truth and receive the Moshiach, you understand, are to be distinguished. See, those are the ones more of Revelation 3 and 9, if you understand. But what about, like, the Rothschild Jews, so forth and so on? Now, who are the, who are the children? It says the children. Those, you don't say Jews or people of religion. It's talking about children. People are descended. Now, remember Amos 9 and 7. This is why you need that key of Amos 9 and 7. Aren't you like the children of the Ethiopians to me, the Bene Kushim to me, O Bene Yisrael, aren't you like the children of the Ethiopians? To me, it goes deeper than just they being both black. Yes, that is a natural fact. It says to eat, so there's a, there's a stumbling block, right, that's cast before the lost sheeple, the black peoples, right? Remember when his Majesty went through Harlem, uh, everyone was hanging out the windows and singing Handel's Messiah? And he shall reign forever and ever. You know what I mean? I mean, where would so-called Negroes in the ghetto know about Handel's Messiah? You understand? Well, they know about Handel's Messiah, but they recognize the black Messiah. Thus, we have the fulfillment of the real target of COINTELPRO, Ketamawi, Haile Selassie, right? Now, um, remember, this word now, if... If Kennedy is a type of an antifas, if this can be applied um, prophetically, right, to, to this particular meeting and this particular time, but I have a few things against thee, because thou hast via them that hold the doctrine of Balaam, who taught Balak to cast a stumbling block. There's some stumbling block that has been cast before the children of Israel. Not the state of Israel. It doesn't say the state of Israel. It says the children of Israel. And Amos, Old Testament, says, Aren't you, speaking to the children of Israel, like unto the children of the Ethiopians? Here we have the conquering line of the tribe of Judah, Haile Selassie I, elect of God, king of kings of Ethiopia, meeting with JFK roughly 50 days, less than two months before he was assassinated by the, the Vatican assassins. You understand? That's what the evidence points to right here. And it's more than just um, um, circumstantial. It's conclusive. You understand? Very much. Right? So um, they cast a stumbling block before the children of Israel, before the lost black sheeple, right, to eat things. Notice, to eat things. Sacrifice to idols, all your Mickey D's and Burger King. and I mean, that's one level of it. You understand? But also in these prosperity pseudo mega churches and these counterfeit, your counterfeit Christianity, right? Um, the churchianity. You need to be delivered from all of those counterfeit churches A to Z. You understand? And the counterfeit religious spirit and Caesar Borgias and the image and, 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 and the false gospel, the ghost spell. All right? It says to eat things sacrificed to idols. That's why the people say this show, what, American Idol, right? And to commit fornication. And to commit fornication. Um, Minister Louis Farrakhan, and when the fall of the dollar, fall of America, you got to check that out when he touches on fornication. You know, and then he goes into it. If anybody re edits this right here, you got to put that link in. You understand right there, that clip where he's speaking about fornication. 
you know, and it's the adultery. We 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 don't have no marriage relationship with this um, um, Anglo, you understand, Gentile society. Although many of your um, Reverend, uh, you know, Reverend Bacon and Pastor Pork Chops will try to make you think so. Verse fifteen: So hast thou also them that hold the doctrine or the teaching of the Nicolaitanes. Now everybody says, "Who's the Nicolaitanes?" Nobody knows. Well, let's look at the name. Nick Isle Laos, right? And it was Nick Isle Laos, the conqueror of the people, the conqueror of the laity. That means a ecclesiastical, a churchical system, right? We are priests, we are pastors, we are bishops, we are theologians. We have we have um we have paper from the civilian Pax Romana romantic government that gives us authority. Only we can read the Bible. You can't. That's that's how they come off. You understand? But Yeshua says, the Moshiach says, he says, which thing I hate. Yeshua, doesn't David say, oh, I bet to, oh, I do not, I hate those things you hate. You understand? For, he said, for perfect hatred. It says, repent, verse 16. Repent. And we're sure that this was also the message to JFK from his imperial majesty. Or else I will come to thee quickly and will fight against them with what? What kind of a sword? The sword of my mouth. Word, sound, and power. Verse 17 says, He that hath an ear, a spiritual ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith to the churches. To him that overcometh will I give to eat of the hidden manna, and will give him a white stone, and in the stone a new name written, which no man knoweth, saving he that receiveth it. And we say that new name for I and I is Rastafari is Rastafari. But those folks that don't receive that, they, you know, they don't know this. You understand? They don't know this. You know, they don't have gnosis, gnosis of this. So we want to put this in as a kind of a continuation to some of the earlier um, revelations and, and postings and videos concerning JFK and his imperial majesty because we really wanted to do due diligence to this and really try to go through each layer of this. You know what I'm saying? So that we can, because these are the times, we're going to redeem the times, the days are evil. So we can't just kind of like rush, you understand, to a kind of a, a judgment or a prejudice concerning that. But the more and more, you know, that we find different, um, different threads and different information out there. In fact, um, what we wanted to do, let's see, if we go over here, um, what we wanted to do is point, all right, all right, here we go. These are a couple of other interesting before we before we go out on this right here. This 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 video right here. Some of you have probably seen it. I think it's supposed up there in parts right here. The man of the millennium. Um, even though his majesty's name right here is spelt with the wrong with the wrong uh fidel. Right, education, the literacy campaign is a key even for um, native speakers. This is kind of misspelled right here, His Majesty's name. So hopefully maybe if they do a reprint, they can get the more official spelling. If they need to get it, they can go to I and I website. Though they have it up here correct, you can see. You see they have this, um, Nagusu Ha, right, and, and Nagusu uh, Se, but they use it both the Se, the shout here and the sh and the shout here. This is the sat sat to set, right? This is shout uh, 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 shout or um, nagusu set, which is a this is correct. This is incorrect right here, right? This is hoi ha, right? That's hoi ha, and you can tell because up here they have nagusu ha. This is the correct way, right? This is the um as an acronym. But anyway, this vid, the vid is really a good vid. We, um, you know, Tikar, Tefera, Adi's film right here um, has done a good work on this, in this documentary concerning the man of the millennium. 
You understand? From a more political, like a political aspect. So if you can check that out, check this particular vid out right here. All right, this vid right here. All right, here we go. And then we have this right here, this book we've, we've spoken of before, um, The Betrayal of uh, Ethiopia by um, um, Asifa Adafaris, Adafaris, right? Um, and you can see his majesty meeting with some of the American, Amerikawi, um, Mary Roach, um, with Kennedy right here at the railway station. We have the vid we pointed to here is with Eisenhower, you understand? Um, for, you know, for, for a Gentile, uh, Anglo Gentile, a very good man still, you know, a, a, kind of a real man in the sense, in faith and his soldier general, so forth and so on. Um, this is his meeting, his majesty's meeting with him. And this is a meeting with, um, uh, what's his name, Roosevelt, right, aboard one of the battleships. Around the same time that um, he meets with Churchill, um, Roosevelt meets Churchill and Stalin, right, um, but his majesty doesn't, you know, doesn't attend that or is not invited to that because that's for the Gentiles over there. You know what I mean? Um, and his Majesty is representing, you know, I and I people. So here, this is this is one, and Kennedy's testimony um, should be uh, duly noted. And just on the back of it, I think this might be the author here. This might be the author right here, the author's family. Um, yeah, and this is the back of the book, right? So see if you can get a copy of this particular book. It's in, in English, as English and Amharic uh, section, like two different sections right there. All right, this is the betrayal of Ethiopia. So in putting all of this, you know, plus there's additional information, but these are some, um, we could say the highly recommended, some of the highly recommended info on that. So that's one aspect of it right there. It's almost like everyone that His Majesty warns and listens to that warning becomes a target. You know what I'm saying? Everyone. You know, as we have the the first generation of Rastafari, and we know that many of them were martyred too. You know what I'm saying? We know about Burhana Selassie, a.k.a. Um, Robert Nesta Marley. You know what I'm saying? And even to this very time still, you know what I'm saying? But we we still have to remember what Jude says, what Jude says to I and I. You understand? And and no retreat, no surrender. But here's the word says, um, it says, Beloved, when I gave all diligence to write to you of the common salvation, it was needful for me to write to you and to exhort you, to, to advise you that you, that ye should earnestly, Contend for the faith, the hymenot, the living faith, which was once delivered, once delivered to the Kedusan. Then in verse 4 of Judah says, or Judah, Yehuda, it says, For there are certain men crept in unawares, who were before of old ordained to this condemnation. It says, Ungodly men, turning the grace of our God into lasciviousness and denying the only it says lord lord god right here but the but the only the only uh yahweh elohim in other words um he who be who he be uh true source and power and our master adonenu getachin egzienne jesus christos yeshua ha moshiach now it's interesting that we have this right there because now that this might help us to um kind of segue you understand kind of segue to our original intent in this recording but in just walking in the holy spirit it was needful for us to um start out right there now we have these other pictures this is another search this is a search we said uh, no obelis salasi and Time now. This is this is the meeting right here, right? That goes along with some of the content. I think this is from one of I and I videos because we was noticing that 
you know, this information was known, but it wasn't out there. I mean, we can see years ago when we first got on the Internet and there was only a couple of maybe one or two sites about Ethiopia, you know, understand, and maybe even less about Rastafari until my like years, years ago, early 90s and stuff like that, you know. But now, still for there not to be anything out there, so it's very good and give thanks a lot of others brothers and sisters and others are beginning to investigate this more. And this is at um, uh, Quirinale Palace, right? And this is that website. It says Ethiopia celebrates uh, a restoration of giant obelisks. But this is from part uh, three of the mystery of iniquity, right? Selassie's visitation, right, to, to Rome and the meeting with this particular pope. Right, and if you see the whole vid, I know some have more or less of the vid up there now on the YouTubes from the Italian Rai um, television network. I think they filmed it, and um, we had got a copy years ago. But we, you know, it's all, it's mostly in in Italian and Amharic, so you know, couldn't really make it out fully, fully. You understand. Um, but it's a very cryptic, you know, very cryptic video um, right here, if we would say so. But now, let's go back to this page right here, and this is at Kennedy's funeral right here, just to get a large view of this. This is at Kennedy's funeral, um, and here you have His Imperial Majesty Fun and Center, All right? Um, also, remember when His Majesty brought the silver? Brought that, brought that silver, the silver wreath, and they say it was made from all the, those like the coins, you know, because that's that's what's really was behind the whole um, um, creeping coup and conspiracy. There were certain traitors, and not traitors, business traitors, but um, traitorous, um, careless Ethiopians who were in bed and with the Illuminati, who were in bed with these ones who were undermining the system that his imperial majesty was seeking to preserve. Yovas, and we went into some details on that. We have further information to prove it. You know, folks might say, well, you're Rastafari, and you're just trying to say everything about his majesty is, is wonderful and great. No, we're not just trying to say that, but that's what the evidence. You understand? And others say, well, no, such and such. We go in, we investigate it, we find so much, and we find these folks that lie against his majesty to be just that, liars against his imperial majesty. So um, we, we want to learn something different, you understand, if we can, but we just keep finding the evidence verifying our faith in the King of Kings and in his Christ. Hallelujah, praise ye Yah. Now, this is from Tadius, I think Tadius, um, Tadius magazine right there. I want to show you one more thing in this particular search right here, because this is going to be from Kennedy. Kennedy, His Majesty, um, a continuation of uh, where our introduction, that introduction at the railway station, hearing what Kennedy says concerning His Majesty, concerning the 29 African states, um, you know, which, which, which were newly freed. You understand? Newly freed. This still was a, a young, gradual process. You know what I'm saying? But because of what occurred, the creeping coup, and what occurred in Ethiopia, understanding Ethiopia's significance on the African continent, it's almost like how Japan was looking more at being like Germany in the West, right? And um, the other Asians were like, like China and the Indonesian Asian countries thought that Japan, because it had that imperial, it had that legacy, would, would, would be like the leader, like, like England, in a sense, has tried to be on a level for Europe. But instead, they kind of turned against. And it's like the careless generation of Ethiopians also. Instead of recognizing the real struggle in Africa and what was going on, they started to kind of bitch and moan instead of continuing to build on top of what his imperial majesty had, had, um, had done. You understand what is imperial majesty and that righteous generation had done. So once again, um, what we're going to do right here is kind of wrap this up, this part right here up, and want to go into a little bit more on um, 
his majesty and the meeting with with the pope and whether it was an apostle pope and what's the significance in the scriptures as well so once again Wendem Yaden here reporting for LOJ Society of Imperial Majesty. Shalom Rastafari. Stay tuned. Shalom.